For the Iowa Hawkeyes waving in his face. Backdoor lob for Cook. He misses the pass, gets it back though. Tipped it off the glass actually to himself. And it's pretty evident what the Hawkeyes are going to do. Nick going to go. Let's see if Wieskamp can make it two for two. Nope. Potter Cook with an offensive rebound on it. To Jordan Bohannon. He had a quick look for a three. Passed it up. Moss will not. Good. Isaiah Moss line drives his first look in. 12. Good defense by Joe Wieskamp. Bear to Bohannon. Jordan's first attempt of the day is good. That's three threes for Iowa. 16 wasn't ready for the pass. It's a good move by Jaquan Dotson. The Hawkeyes get the ball back off the turnover by Savannah State leading 5-3. Wieskamp from the uh, right wing. Good. You usually tell when his shots are going to go in. They've got such a beautiful rainbow to them. Yeah, and over the 16-minute mark. And our first official's timeout at the next whistle. Here's Bohannon, open again, right wing. Bear found him. Jordan compliments him with a back-to-back -back three effort. Six quick ones for, play really at both ends, the pass, but an even uh, prettier play by Wieskamp, who now has nine to lead Iowa. Here's Wieskamp for three. Good from the win. Deep corner, Joe Wieskamp, 29-8. A.C. Daly, Isaiah Moss, Tyler Cook, Jordan Bohannon, and Ryan Craner on the floor. Here's Ryan and said, oh, what an unselfish move as he passed up the shorter layup and hit a cutting teammate, Tyler Cook. Who Daly, Savannah State, they play wild and loose, and therefore they're going to have some turnovers. Moss goes out and dumps it. They just got out of his way, and we've seen that a lot here in the first 12 minutes. Iowa's lead is 58-30. First time it's been under 30 in a while. Jordan tries to jack it back to 31 and does with a three. Boy, it's good to see him doing what he does best. Yeah, you heard Sherman Dillard talking. Weak side to Moss. Back inside to Tyler he goes. He muscles up through a double team. Jump passes to Wieskamp, who scores and is fouled. Driving right wing to the basket. Average of 10 and a half. Five to shoot. Three ball on the way. No good. From the left side. Offered up by Grant. Rebounded by Wieskamp. Ahead to Bohannon. Jordan leads the charge. Pull up three. In transition is good. Yeah, he's, he's back. Nobody in his face now. Be a little more difficult when uh, Till, Nicholas Hobbs, Macy Daly, Austin Ash, and Ryan Preener. Unless Michael Bear comes in. Hobbs tries a jump shot. Banked it in. I guarantee he wasn't trying to do that. Ash on a bounce pass. Ahead for Moss. To a trailing Craner. Stand still. Jumper good. 95-44. Comes up with a loose ball. Throws it to Craner. Craner ahead for Moss. Isaiah to the basket. And the lamp is good. And let me tell you what a comes. Excited. Up here with 21 on the day. Leads the Hawks. Bohannon has 18. Craner baseline to a cutting till layup. Good. Might be the best sequence of ball movement we've seen today. Yeah. Macy Daly tries a three. It's no good. Kicks long to Moss. Moss is everywhere. Austin Ash for three. It's good. Oh, yeah. Isaiah Moss is on fire, and he's not taking that many shots. No changes in the lineup. Gets it to Ash, who lets fly with a three. Good again. Austin Ash. Yeah, he's got that, that hit release. He gets that ball way down 105 against Alabama State. They've got 107 now, so that's a... New season high for points scored. Here comes Bear for three in the corner. Good! Right in front of the Bear family. A new school record, 19 threes for the Hawkeyes. And it's walk on Michael Bear. Oh, good. Well, yeah, I think so. Uh, you know, it was the kind of game where he was able to get 14 up. Yeah. Typically, they're guarding him a little bit closer. They played a lot of 2-3 zone. But even in the first half, our ball movement enabled him to get some shots up. And that's what I want him to do, just keep firing. Yeah. Have you had many teams take 42 threes in your... your no, but I think we took 42 when we played these guys two years ago. And, you know, it's just, it, you know, it depends on the style of your opponent sure. oftentimes. Uh, and, and even, I think we made 18 in that game. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the, the key is not to become three happy, but to take good threes. 
and then mix it, especially if they're in a zone, you know, get it to the baseline, get it to the high post, still attack and transition. And, and, and for a stretch in the first half, they were in man-to-man. -man. You move the ball and, and, and go inside. What's Garza's status? Uh, you know, he, he just he sprained it at the end of practice. He's he's hurting right now, so we'll see. Yeah, he needed a boot. Lots of minutes for Till and Ash today. What'd you like out of those two guys? They were great. I mean, they they, they played like I would expect them to play. Uh, they they were aggressive offensively. They were aggressive defensively. I thought Riley was tremendous on the glass. You know, I thought they both were going to get the double figures. One's got ten. One's got nine. And. Uh, Especially since we were down to seven scholarship guys, we needed those two to play the way they played. It seemed like you've gone to an extreme of having a bench that and a rotation that's just so deep in past years to now one where injuries are a factor. Are you concerned with this now? I mean, it's getting always get, you know concerned. I mean, we've had an inordinate amount of sprained ankles, uh, which in and of themselves don't set you back long term, they set you back short term and it changes everything. You know, at the same time it's opportunity for somebody to step up and get more minutes. You know, Greener sprained his ankle and then wasn't the same, but now he's back with Luca out. So I wanted to get him more minutes. Uh, but I also didn't want him to get hurt, you know, in a game where we were up uh, by so many. So I got him out with about five, six minutes to go. Yeah, it's really exciting. They gave us a great look um, and scout team every single day in practice. So um, to see them succeed is just a lot of fun for our team and especially just exciting for them and their families. Riley Till here. Yes, Joe. What do you think of Nico's bag three? <laughs> <laughs> Man, we were all so excited for him. Mm -hmm. um, I think that was maybe his first career point, so it's just really exciting. And the up and under, too. Yeah, the up and under. I don't know where that came from, but that was, that was a great move. Appreciate it. Thanks. Just talk about uh, you know uh, you know this just talk about the game in general and uh, you know you know having given them today. Um, we knew that if we pressured them early, we could force some turnovers. Um, we knew they were going to take a lot of threes, um, so we just tried to rebound, push it in transition, run up against them. Um, we, were, we had a lot of openings. Um, I don't know if we took any bad shots. Um, the guys were hitting today. Coach said you guys were locked into the game plan. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, we got to be locked in the game plan every game. Um, know the other team's tendencies um, and see where we can, you know, um, attack them. Oh, uh, yeah, we executed the game plan well from the start to finish. Um, everyone did a great job offensively and defensively, so I'm glad we got the win. And just talk about the, it's all about spacing and that kind of stuff to, to get those kind of threes and, and defense too. Yeah, uh, I think it starts with our defense. We uh, got stops that led out to um, fast break points. Our spacing was good. That allow shooters to um, get good shots up. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. It's kind of just a fluke thing. I, I like to think um, it's just you know going up, landing the wrong way you know, on guys' feet. Um, not much you can really do about it. Just kind of part of the game. If I had told you, you know, a month ago you're going to score 10 points in a game, you know, <laughs> would you have said sure? Uh, yeah, I would have said sure. You know, I've always believed in myself and believed in what you know I had the ability to do. Um, you know. I was just kind of, you know, waiting for my opportunities and, you know, making the most of whatever opportunity I got. So, you know, it felt great to get out there. Coach talked about the way you were crashing the boards. What, what do you bring yeah. to I like to think I bring a little edge, um, whether that's toughness and tenacity, uh, you know, just kind of hustling, that kind of mentality. Because um, I know when I'm in there, I'm not going to be, you know, playing the minutes that, like, Jordan or Isaiah is, you know, I don't have to necessarily pace myself, you know what I mean? So I can kind of afford to go all out for, you know, three, four-minute spurts. Um, and, you know, that can translate to, you know, me, you know, crashing the glass more, you know, me running the floor a little bit harder because I know that, you know, I'm going to be subbed out here pretty soon. So it kind of just allows me that kind of mentality to, you know, hustle and try to outwork the other team. But you did play